Today we will load how to upload a document in the learner portal. Before watching this video, make sure you have watched first our other video how to submit an assessment. If you have, let's begin. As you go through your assessments, you will notice that some will require documents to be uploaded. The learner portal supports most file formats like JPEG, Word docs, and PDFs. However, it does not accept zipped folders. It is important to note that your documents should be properly labeled. Make sure the letters will not exceed 20 characters. And no special characters should be used like hashtag, dashes, or even underscores. Now, here is how you can upload your documents. Click on the word browse. A pop-up box will appear where you can look for the documents you need to upload. Choose the document you need, and click open. Your document will appear in this area. If you need to upload more than one document, click on add more. When you have uploaded all the files you need, you can now click the upload files button. You can now type in your answer here. Take note, you need to upload your files first, before you type an answer in the text box. If you do it the other way around, your upload will result to an error. After typing, click save. Your files and answer have now been saved in the system. When you have finished the assessment, click on submit assessment. But wait, should you wish to take a break between answering your assessments, you can do so by clicking on the exit button at the top right of your screen. This will take you back to the overview page of the assessment. Whenever you're ready, just click on the resume button. You will be able to pick up where you left off. After completing everything, your submitted assessments can be found at the submitted tab. Assessments indicated here will still need to be marked by the assessor. When the assessor finishes their marking, the assessment will then be found in your results tab. And this concludes our presentation.